All right, back to the regular scheduled drawing tutorial. A little bit more than 30 minutes. <laughs> I had to clean up the drawing, and I forgot that I had to clean up the drawing. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the finished line art, basically. I'm sure there's still some mistakes and such that I'll be fixing as I paint, but this, for all intents and purposes, is what the composition is going to look like. Um, so from this step, uh, I make sure that things are on the layers I want them to be on. So for example, uh, this is on a layer, this is on a separate layer, and then, um, actually this can come out of the folder, can it? Come up here. This is on a separate layer. So, make sure. That's very important to note. These are all, all on separate, beautiful layers. And, um, nothing else is visible. There's a lot of, like, sketchy lines and things where I was just messing around to see. Or even duplicates, just in case I don't like how something combined. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of sketchiness going on here that you don't see because I got rid of it. All I want, and all you're going to want, are the layers that you want for, uh, what you want to export. And, uh, you go here this option. I don't think it really matters if you say in pixels or dimensions unless I guess you want something very specific. Uh, outport at actual size, entire page. Sometimes you want the tone especially if um, you have sketchy layers or if you have tones obviously in your piece but I don't really need it. I just need uh, line art. Um, then you go here you make sure the file name is called what you want it to be called. Make sure it's Photoshop. Go to, um, and this is, of course, if you wanted a Photoshop file, you can do it PGN, J JPEG, BIMP, BIMP, BMP, whatever, um, TIFF, TARGA, PDF, whatever. I, EPS, I've never heard of that. But I do Photoshop settings. You can merge them or keep the layer. And I always keep the layers in, for this purpose. Um, let me save this in a different area on my desktop. Shadow illustration. Alright. Um, then we're going to export it. And it's going to come up with this thing and you just sit around. It shouldn't take too long. And I only did the left page. Um, uh, some, if you have, uh, if it takes up two pages, you're going to want to make sure that under that little that you do both all pages or right page if it's just over here but I'm only doing the left page so might as well not take up all that space um, make sure to save because I haven't saved for a while and that was a silly thing to not do so while that saves we can open it up in Photoshop so desktops um, art Crescendo station. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this one. Uh, this one's taking a particularly long time to sit. You know what? We're just going to let you think about that for a minute. Okay, so as you can see, the layer structure saved. Ain't that neat and handy dandy? I think that's handy dandy. Shut up. But I think matters. All right. Um. I'm sorry. I'm just like looking at that, going like, is that really a black line? It is. Okay. And so, um, one second. Let me just move this around so it's a little bit more pleasing. Now, the thing about exporting these files that you have to take a note is, I want you to look at this. Look at how big it is now. This is 100% right here. This is how big it is. 100%. And that's why the lines look so clean when you back out this far. Because it's very pixelated. As I said, it doesn't have that little, like, um, for example, if I use a Photoshop brush, like just the standard whatever, it gets bigger and smaller brush, like that. 
it the problem is, is when you zoom into that one it has that sort of blurred out edge and that's a little bit zoomed in but you can see even the difference from here see how clean that looks compared to that and it's very small and minute but uh, just the fact that um, Manga Studio Pro it gives you this large palette or this not large palette but just large canvas size without all the slowdown that Photoshop can have and I mean because this is a huge picture like if I tried to work this big in Photoshop I probably would have crashed like several times everything would have exploded but uh, uh but Manga Studio just works a lot faster uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it that you need to know about working from Manga Studio Pro to Photoshop. And, um, there isn't anything else in particular to think about if you're doing line art. As I said, if you're doing comic books and panels and such, it's a bit different. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess if you guys wanted to learn about comic books and stuff, uh, and how, how to uh, do that in Manga Studio Pro. I can talk about that later. I, like, in a different thing. So yeah, I don't know. This is awkward. I'm just going to end it. Screw you.